Hi there, welcome to Island Girl Creative Studio. I just did a tutorial on how to make this right here and I'm now going to show you, actually I'm gonna put them together. So the tile, which sits in here, and then the scoop, which hangs right here, or hangs right here, sorry. The cameras are, <laughs> I'm not looking at what I'm doing and it's all over the place, but anyway, so this is a scoop. Um, you'll see as we put it together um, how that looks. But um, I'm going to scoot this away so that I don't get any other paint on it that I don't want. I'm going to put what I'm working on right in front of me. This one is very simple. It has a very simple background to it that um, is actually good. It's really great. It's really fun to just do something that doesn't have a whole lot going on. I'm going to put all of my little pumpkin pieces here. And I'm going to put my support pieces here. Those don't go to this. Okay. There's the pumpkins that sit inside the scoop, the support pieces that make them work. There are two little tags that we can hang. Actually, this one and this one. More support pieces here, here, and here. And then um, a bead. Okay, so this is here, so these don't move. These go inside so you don't have to worry about um, painting them because they go on the inside put that over there and then we'll get started so I'm thinking maybe I'll do an ombre on here because it's just uh you know it's very folly and fall is orangey and uh yellow to me so I'm thinking let's see how it looks and again these are score marks so you want to be really careful pushing the paint on there you don't want to um you don't want to get heavy handed or else it will fill them in and you won't be able to see you won't be able to see those score marks and you want to be able to see them so i'm lightly brushing on the orange and i'm thinking about like halfway and i'm going to introduce the yellow now and I don't, I'm not doing full colors. I'm adding a little bit of white to it to kind of soften them up. Um, and so, and then I start from one end and go towards the other. So that way it kind of blends in the middle. That's my plan. Also, I might add a little drama to it afterwards, but let's just see how far we get. So, oh, it's kind of looking like a candy corn, which happens to be one of my favorite candies I love candy corns I don't know what it is about them I know a lot of people think they're gross and I guess technically they are kind of gross if you think about it but I don't I just like to eat them I like the joy that they make me feel I feel like when they're in a jar um, they look so pretty when they're in a bowl they look so tempting I just love them so much so that's my thought and that's where I'm going with this it looks like oh I actually have them um, for Halloween yeah okay so we're gonna do them for Halloween there's lots of scoops there's lots of um, tiles um, this is just because I figured fall is happening so let's let's get in this let's get in the mood for fall I don't know about you, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, let me think. I'm thinking how I want this to look. I wonder. All right, I'm going to do this in brown. I was going to do it in black, but I feel like that's too harsh. So let's just do it in brown. And I'm going to get a sponge brush and lightly tap on some brown paint to this. Because I feel like black would be just a little bit too harsh. You can do whatever you want. You are welcome to find your groove and do that. There we go. Oh yeah, cute. Very nice, okay. So I'm gonna scoot that over and then I'm gonna work on the scoop, which the scoop, traditionally I make them brown because they're supposed to be like a little wooden scoop that you scoop things out of a cookie jar or something you know like a jar full of stuff like a jar full of baby pumpkins or a jar full of candy corns I mean it's a scoop it's a candy scoop so I'm just gonna give it one nice coating 
of brown. Um, it looks more like a stain than it does uh, actually painted. And then um, let's see here. How about uh, we're going to go back to the oranges because now we're going to do pumpkins. Um, which I'm surprised I don't have a button that's a pumpkin. That's weird. Uh, la, 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 la. That's right. It's still fall. Fall leaves. It all works. It all goes together. So I'm going to pull out some of this orange. Can you see? There you go. And I'm going to just tap it onto my pumpkins. Again, we're being gentle because of those score lines. We don't want to get the paint stuffed into those score lines. And we're going to add some details to them afterwards. But first is just to get that first layer on there. Um, with the leaves, I'm wondering if I can just do... Well, I can ombre them too. I've got glue on my finger. I've been picking off here. Um, we can just ombre them too. Just put some orange and then we'll get them yellow on top. Oh yeah. Oh, look at how pretty. Fun. Okay. Um, in that same vein, I was going to put a little bit of yellow on the pumpkins. Just to give them a little extra. You know me. I'm always pushing it. Like, what can we do? Super cute. Oh, very fall looking. Okay, so now those are going to dry. Um, these parts over here go to a different set. Somehow they got involved. So, and then um, the last thing to do are these tags. You can choose one or you can choose both. Um, one says fall, one says pumpkins. I'm a fan of both. So, I'm just going to paint them both. And I'll maybe decide afterwards. Okay. So, this should be dry. Let's get the glue going which is over here on the paper towel on the side. This one only needs a little bit on the big thick letters. The little thick parts. You don't want to put a lot of glue on it. Just enough to get a good stick on. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah, that's cute. Okay. I also have um, the Sharpie that I've been using. Upside down. There it is. So the Sharpie to do little details and stuff, and you can do that on the leaves. So I was thinking about painting in little veins, just to give it a little more oomph. Oh my gosh, don't laugh at me. It's hard to see these. I don't have my glasses on. Are they around here somewhere? I don't see them. I can't see. All right, hopefully I'm doing a good job. This is really blurry to me. Ooh, and maybe uh, I have the white one too. Actually, it was just here. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Okay, got the white one too. Um, I use different ones. I have, actually I have like a hundred of them over there. But this little white um, one can do like a few little dots. Just like some background noise, right? So it's just not so barren. And maybe just a couple little details on the actual letters here. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So look, it's just ups the ante just a little bit okay I'm gonna scoot that over here then I'm gonna work on putting the scoop together so that was the tile this is the scoop what did I do with the glue oh put it back where it's supposed to be why would I do that okay oh I put a little too much glue up on the top there so I'm actually gonna wipe it off with the glue stick and then put it back over there all right, so you line these suckers up. It fits perfectly. It becomes a spoon, one big piece. Try not to glue yourself. That's why I took some of it off. Hold it down. All right, it's coming together. Stuff it everywhere. Right 
so cute. Okay. Um, so next, the next piece is to, um, there's three little pumpkins that sit inside the scoop. So we have to make the differentiation, differentiation, we have to different, differentiate, <laughs> um, sorry, I'm laughing at myself, at, are these the pumpkins, these are the pumpkins, the different, um, so this goes to the bead because those are circles. And then let's see, which ones sit in the scoop? There's ones that sit in the scoop and there's ones that get a bead made out of them. I think I'm gonna have to play the game. Which one fits which? Okay, so this looks like, does it fit that? Okay, that creates a bead there. So that, and this is its foot, yes, okay. So we've got, I thought there were three. Uh-oh, did I lose some? Did I lose a pumpkin? For fart's sake, because I thought there were three in the scoop, two beads, and a round one. Well, son of a monkey. I think I'm missing a piece. Well, that's okay. I'm going to really quickly look at something and I will be right back. Give me one second. I could be wrong. So I'm just looking at the cut file really quick to see what was cut. Oh, that's two pumpkins. Oh, no. Yeah, two in the... Two in the scoop and uh, two beads. Okay. I'm wrong. I thought I thought I knew, but I didn't know, so... Oh, back to here. All right. Thank you for being patient. Okay. So this makes one, and then we're going to make one out of one of these pumpkins. Let's see. I think it is this pumpkin right here. They are cut to fit. This side. And I really should have my glasses on for this. But yeah, so these beads, these, this is small detail work we're going to be doing. We're putting little backers to create a hole in it so that we have room for string and we can make it a bead. So if you put that on top of that and then a backing on top of it, essentially it will have a hole down the middle. Now, getting it to work, however, <laughs> is a whole nother thing. So let me just make sure I've got the right pumpkins to make a bead because they have to be identical. So this and this go in the scoop. Those get uh, glued down to that. But I just want to make sure I have the right pumpkin. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's this one and this one. They all look the same, my goodness. Is it this one and this one? Or is it this one and this one? Oh, there we go. Okay. So then those two go in the scoop. All right. Getting closer. Sorry, I know that's not fun. I should have already done that before this, but I was, um, didn't think I was going to, it was going to be that much uh, in depth work there. Ah, I got glue on my scissor. Okay. So this is really, you have to be careful with this because you want to make that hole in between and you don't want it to glue anything else except for exactly what you're going for, like the table. Um, so when you put this down, make sure it lines up perfectly. And we're creating a sandwich, a pumpkin sandwich. Let 
And I left the hose on for the horses. I'm going to see if I have overflowed the field yet. Okay, so again, putting the top on, or the middle, the top of the middle. Ooh, that's looking really good. Okay, let that dry a second. Let me go check. Ouch. Let me go check to see if I'm flooding the field. Luckily, I was not, so I caught it before too far. Okay, so that's done. Same thing with the bead. So you want to um, do the same thing with the circle. The circle is a lot easier. They don't have, like, you know, it's a circle, so it doesn't have to be perfectly um, in the middle or anything like that. You just have to get it against the edge. Whereas the pumpkin had to be a certain way because it fits only a certain pumpkin. This is, oh my gosh, it's hard to see with no glasses on. Welcome to my new eyeballs. Okay. And again, we're just making a channel for string to sit through. And we want it to be as flush to the outside as you possibly can. And then the baby pumpkin. Is that glue on my hand? All right, just making sure it's in the right place. Adding a tiny bit of glue. Definitely want to pay attention while you're doing this. You don't want to glue your fingers to it and you don't want to glue the wrong piece in the wrong area. Okay. And then this one. There goes the emu again. Thump, thump, thump. Flush to the edge. Yikes. Okay, so now you get to decide. It looks like they scooted a little bit. They're not exactly perfect. And I'm not either. So um if you want to lay the string inside of it now, so you don't have to thread it through or not. And so it comes with this twine right here. So what I'm saying is you can put it in between and then glue the top to it. So that way it's in there and you don't have to worry about threading it through. The only dangerous thing is glue, you might glue it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just giving it to you as an idea. But I'm afraid that I'll glue it to the string and I won't be able to move it where I want to. So a little glue on top. And now you know it's a sandwich, right? So you know you're going to sandwich the other side on. gel glue remember moves okay so there's that sandwich and a baby pumpkin and a bigger pumpkin Okay. okay, so now we have essentially just made beads. We have three little beads. We have our scoop. Now what I want to do is I want to measure I want to measure how long we need this. So here's the board that we're hanging it on. And essentially the scoop is going to be right here. So I'm going to cut it about here and I'm going to give us a little more room than we need. So that way we can tie, cut, or change whatever we have to change. Yours is going to be pre-cut. So you'll have yours pre-cut. So I'm going to put this back up here. And now um, 
I want, oh, I forgot, oh, the bow. Where's the uh, ribbon? It'll also be coming with a bow. I will remake the bow for you. Where did it go? Where's the bow? I didn't put it away. Did I? That is so weird. Where did it go? I had it a minute ago. I was making bows earlier today. Alright, I'll find another ribbon. I have a multitude of ribbons. It was just so cute because it had little pumpkins on it. Well, here's another one. Same exact one, but not, not opened yet. So, okay. So, it's just this little ribbon. It's nothing special. You know, um, I have so much ribbon and I never use it. I just need to start using it. But I make a cute little bow. And a lot of times I do it on the spool because I don't know how much I'm going to need. So I'll just show you my bow making skills. <laughs> I just take two loops. Spin them around each other. And pull it through the other way. So basically, it's just like tying a knot, right? You're tying a knot. And you can decide how big your loops are by pulling back on the legs of it. And then you pull tight. You want them to be even on either side. And then you just pull tight. Then the other trick is, this is only one-sided ribbon, right? So you don't want to see the back side of it. Let's hope for this is sharp. Nope, it is not sharp. Fantastic. All right. I'm trying to match up the links. <laughs> As I hack my way through. Okay, so then you don't have to do this. It'll be made for you, but your bow will be like this. And then what I do is I just twist one of the legs around. And so then there is a front side. That, and then you can tighten it up a little bit more if you want to. Okay, so back to creating this wonderful thing. So you get to decide what do you want, fall or pumpkins. I like pumpkins, so we're going with pumpkins. So we're going to thread this through, thread it through the scoop, and then I pull. until it's even even at the top okay so that's the first step oh i forgot i didn't glue those down um i suggest creating a knot just above it so that way you have it's stable and it keeps that little tabby from flying around too much okay oh gosh did i pull it totally off the table <laughs> sorry Okay, so that's how that looks. The bow is supposed to go next, which you can just glue right onto it. And that also, oh, the glue is just coming out everywhere. That knot also makes a good landing place for the bow. And I just love all the pumpkins. I'm into pumpkins. I tried to grow pumpkins last year. We had some bunny rabbits that thought they tasted delicious. It took a bite out of each one. And then somehow they just didn't survive. Um, okay. Then we're going to put... Gosh, there's stuff everywhere. Messy work environment is hard to work in. Um, so then, then we're going to put the, um, the beads on. I'm going to do this. Oh, is there little round beads in here too? 
no, there's none on that one. Okay, I'm just getting fancy when I don't need to. So you're just gonna thread them through. If you want them to stay in a certain space, you can make a knot and it will stay there. So we've got that one and then the little the leaf one. And then the other pumpkin. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Ooh, let's put a little few little details on that too. Details. Details. Wait, what else am I saying? Oh, uh, the brown stems. I like to put the brown stems on the pumpkins, even on the beads. A little extra and you can do both sides that's probably a good idea I'm gonna let that dry before I flip it I'm gonna move this away these two little pumpkins are supposed to be glued on the inside of the scoop so I could get that done before we hang it it's like you scooped up some pumpkins Give me a little pumpkin jar. Okay. And then um, let that dry for a second while I move this. I'm very pleased. This is beautiful. Okay. Put this over here for now. And then I think I'm going to get rid of this because it's dangerous. There's glue on it. I'm going to glue myself. Okay. So here's a project. Remember the tile that we made earlier? It sits in this little square right here. It will fall out if you lean it forward so that you can put another one. They're meant to be interchangeable, but they will, they, um, they'll stay in there if you just lean it. Like if you lean it on something, it'll stay. So part one, part two is your little scoop that's gonna hang off of this right here. So I'm thinking just making, we just want to make sure that the um, length is the right way and you want to make sure it's like there's a little bit of space down here. So I'm thinking if I tie it while it's up here and I'll have a better idea of where it's going to sit. Okay, there. And I just do a double knot, right? Because it's not we're not untying it it's just hanging there and don't forget to make enough room so that you can slip it off because this is interchangeable I hope this doesn't seem too complicated I kind of it's supposed to be just cute and fun all right I do want to do it on the back but this doesn't swing much okay so once you have that knot in place, you hang it over the edge and voila. See how it hangs? But it's not supposed to move. You just sit it on a you sit it on a shelf. It sits there till it falls over and then you change them all out for the next season. And I have like gosh, I have a million of these things. They're everywhere and I love them and I'm going to do them all. But so yeah. All right. So sorry. It was a little bit tedious to get to this point. Um, this is probably one of my longer videos, um, but it just shows you really well how to get this done. And I want you to be able to get it done on your own. Oh, I forgot details on this. And uh, like I said, it's up to you. You decide how far you want to take whatever you're doing. Um, just remember to have fun. It's just a fun project. It's cute for your house. Um, if you like to celebrate the seasons, great. If you don't, that's okay too. You don't have to do this, but it's just something cheery. I like it very much. All right, so these will be available as a kit. So this is the, the kit is here. And then these are the interchangeable pieces. So I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna do it in 
three month increments for subscription and then individually you can buy them individually if you like so that you can have each season or any season that you like best um but either way i will put them on www.islandgirlcreativestudio.com thanks for sticking with me and hopefully i'll have some more fun stuff coming up shortly for you and uh yeah here comes fall <laughs>